invention by John Kinsman. According to John, this new tree-mounted aerial uh, is capable of reception like, like you wouldn't believe. If you take a look next to it, at the, at, this is a standard traditional aerial. It's okay, I guess, but this one, now, there's something. Take a look at that sucker up in the tree, using the tree branches to actually suck in more signal from the atmosphere. It's quite a novel design, and, uh, and Kinsman figures he'll be able to market a, a whole bunch of these. Notice the angle of the bottom piece. It's been very carefully calculated to achieve maximum signal retention. Notice how it just barely clips the eaves trough of, of the neighbor. Must be an understanding neighbor, I, I'm guessing. And there's the final, the, the huge signal collector, as John calls it. I must have scared the dickens out of the... Uh... Oh, she came out, she was all out of, out of breath. She says, you know what happened? <laughs> well, it's easier to take pictures this way than when it's on the ground. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Yeah, some neighbor you are, John. That's all I can say. Yeah. <laughs> he was going to get the guy to come out and, and have a look at it. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to take mine down, cut it up, and you know, use it anyway. <laughs> sounds, like, sounds like a good time for the old cable TV to come in. Well, no, I've had it for a couple of years now. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I didn't take it down before. Oh, you've had cable for a couple of years? Yeah. yeah. I know well, that. the reason you didn't take it down, Frank, is this. <laughs> No, you didn't want it to end up like that across your roof like that. <laughs> said, I, all I had to do is, and what's his name, had all the equipment over there, I was going to get him yeah. to cut it up. No, he you sold know, it. And he sold everything. Now i got to get a, <laughs> I got a red a tank somewhere. David cut it up. But i got a tank. Yeah, yeah. You know, a a Sherman? Or? <laughs> cutting tank or whatever. Oh. <laughs> it cut it up. Well, it's quite a testament to your eavesdropping anyway, Frank. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> Not worth a damn. <laughs> Can't stand that shot. <laughs> then what? So as engineers now, uh, engineering design specialists of aerials, you two, you probably figured now maybe you should have drilled holes in the bottom of this thing to drain it out or had a manhole next to it well, so you could climb you under and sponge holes, all the moisture out of it. Drill holes, that makes it, this weakens it a little Yeah, thing. right. So then they do have a lifespan, eh? They like 20 years and out. Did you have a cap on yours? Huh? Did you have a cap on your pipe stand? One time I did, yeah. But, uh, That's probably... See, there it is. And we've just now determined the cause. You didn't cap your damn pipe stand. <laughs> <laughs> well, mine's been up since 1957. When I put mine out. Yeah, mine was... We put ours up just a little after that. Yeah. Maybe. Good thing the whole neighborhood didn't put them up. They'd have to declare this a disaster. <laughs> the governor would have to come in. 